Hello guys, my name is Mr. Bot here today, and today we're going to be uh, we're going to be building a vehicle that should be able to survive a ramp jump. Now, this is the first episode of kind of a series that has to do with just building vehicles and jumping them off ramps. It's literally all this series is going to be. So, and if you're just watching this just to build a vehicle, then I suggest that you look at the next video. There'll probably be an annotation on the screen right about now or earlier on about how to build a ramp and then you can do what I'm doing along with me and jump things off of things so that's fun so um how to build a vehicle basically you can use any of these but usually I use this one because it's square and easy to attach stuff to so you want to go to structural you can use some uh, this part for some stuff but usually that's not the greatest so usually use use everything in this ish area so Let's start out with a bit of a wheelbase. This is going to be a very simple vehicle, so there's that. Let's extend it out a bit. Come over here. Because the closer you have the wheels to the center, the more tippy it will be, I think. Don't quote me on anything I say. Because <laughs> I am not that smart at this stuff. I just know how to build them, and then I test them, and hope that they work. But usually they work. It's not the greatest. So there. Now we have the wheels. You should be able to follow where I'm getting everything from in like the video and all these stuff. So that's easy enough to follow. Um, now we have that stuff on. If we were to test it right now, we would run out of battery pretty quick because we don't have any extra storage. So just for the looks, I always try and put it in a place that kind of is symmetrical to stuff. I don't know. I try and make my vehicles look good sometimes. And generators to make electricity so we don't run out, which is always nice. Um, sometimes things don't work like they're supposed to, so let's just put it down there. There, that looks good. So, there, this is a vehicle. Looks like it should work. Let's launch. Let's test it out. Now, since the last recording, which was basically the pilot for this series, I had all my ramps kind of separated into different places. Now I have them all lined up, which is quite awesome. So another thing to note that's very nice, if you press V, it changes the way the camera works. Now if you press it twice and get to chase, camera chase mode, that's the best for making or just driving around in vehicles. So today, let's go on the ramp in about the middle here. We'll see if we can survive it. And we survived it. Awesome. So, sweet. That's successful vehicle. Now let's go back to the launch, and I'll talk more about different wheels and stuff. So the wheels I use are basically the wheels you're always going to want to use, because they are the strongest and the fastest. I get. Well, they're not. Yeah, I guess they are the fastest. Uh, I don't think it says here. But anyways, this just says the crash tolerance. Crash tolerance is on this one is 100, and this one's 50, so much better than this one. But this one, cool note, is if you do time acceleration or warp acceleration or whatever, anything above like the normal, you can do slight drifts. So yeah, this is just for landing gear, obviously. So and these are really slow, so I wouldn't recommend using them. That one's huge, <laughs> as you can see. I don't know why you'd use that for a jumper. So yeah, that's basically wheels and stuff. Now let's make our vehicle look good. So let's go to the panels. This is a small panel. It's a large panel, obviously. Could probably figure out that. Figure that out yourself. But let's go to about here. That looks good enough. And this one's not gonna look very beautiful, but oh well. Usually whenever I'm just kind of putting panels on vehicles, I just kind of go with what's happening. Like, it doesn't always look the greatest. <laughs> Usually it's just excess stuff that doesn't need to be there. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this will look good. Uh, right about there. Now, one thing to note as well, if you press 
Press and hold shift and then do the directional keys. That makes it go in smaller directions. So this might look not too bad. Uh, right about there. It's gonna look horrible. I don't care. <laughs> this is only a tutorial video. Sometimes these things don't work and it's super annoying. Like, see, only one worked. Now, I might be mistaken, but I've heard someone say that even though you can't see it, it still works, but I don't trust that. I've never tested it or anything, so... I always like it when they're both on, so I guess that's the back. Let's curl you up a bit. A little flat. Is that flat? No, that's still going down. Press S one more time. And let's add another one here. Do the back. Nah, this is gonna look really weird. <laughs> another thing, every vehicle that I make for this series, directly for the series, like just so, so I can record it and stuff, I'm gonna ask you guys for the name. Especially this one. So, what am I gonna call it? <laughs> Down in the comments, tell me. So, yeah. Uh, there, that'll be nice. One thing to note, if you do add panels, you really have to reinforce them onto it or else it will just make the craft really horrible. Now, it probably will just make it like more, it'll make it heavier and less crash resilient, I guess. I'll just save it as untitled spaceship or craft or whatever. And let's take it off another jump. Take it off the big one, the big kahuna. I don't know why I call the big one. Maybe we'll get some more breakdance action. And now, if you don't know what I mean by that, in the first episode, I took my my basic jumper off of the big ramp right there, and it started breakdancing. So, yeah. <laughs> that was fun. Now, actually, this vehicle doesn't look... It's, it's, it's good. I mean, it's not the beautifulest thing ever, but... Uh, oh, we popped the tire, and it went through a thing. Oh, 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 and we're gonna flip. Oh, we're gonna, are we breakdancing? No, we just flipped over really weird. So yeah, that's uh, how to build a vehicle. Um, if you at all enjoyed this, I'd appreciate a like. If, you, if it helped you at all, um, that would be a nice like. Then I'll let more people know that this exists. So, oh, another thing. When you're driving, and you don't know how much efficiency you're gonna get, Usually on a vehicle that you want to go long distances in, you want this number to, like, I mean this number right here, not to move. This means that you're getting, it's not even going down. <laughs> That's weird. Usually it would go down or whatever. And, or maybe it would be minus. I don't know. I think it would say minus usually. I don't know. Just numbers and things. If that goes down really fast, you want to add more solar panels. That's another thing. Solar panels. When I first started to play, I didn't know which thing was a solar panel. This is a solar panel. If you look here, basically it was on, and that will automatically be creating energy all the time if you have sunlight. That's another thing to note. So yeah, now I'm actually going to end the video. Thanks for watching. In the next video, that will be the KSP series, will be how to build a ramp, and that will be on an annotation on screen right now. So thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye.